If having relationships, spouses, friends, etc., means having attachment and therefore craving, should I have relationships? As long as I have relationships, will I always suffer? Short answer, yes. Yes. That's the nature of, of the game. That is it. There's no sugarcoating it. You know, there's um, a sutta uh, with uh, Visaka. Visaka is one of the, the greatest lay disciples of the Buddha. And uh, you know, they're, they're talking about, uh, you know, I think she, she had lost a grandchild or something like that. And she was talking to the Buddha about the loss. And, and the Buddha said, would you adopt all of the children in this city? And she's like, yes. And he says, well, when you have a hundred uh, dear ones, you have a hundred sufferings. When you have one dear one, you have one suffering. When you have no dear ones, you have no suffering. What does this mean, that we should all just run away and not have any dear ones? And... No, I mean, you know, for a monk, a monk's, that's part of the monk's life, is to, to do that, to let go of dear ones. For a lay person, that's not part of your life. That's just, you know, so you will always have attachments. You will always have friends. You will always have loved ones. You will have children, spouses. That's just part of living life. So you shouldn't, it's not that, you know, that's a negative thing per se, unless you really want to get out of samsara, then it becomes a negative thing. But, to, you know, I, I answer this question a lot because people kind of, they read Buddhist doctrine and they're like, but like I have children and I have a family and I have a job and all these things and this is saying I shouldn't have any attachment to them. <clears throat> You're always going to have attachment. Even myself as a monk, you know, I have... I have mother, I have a father, I have you know, relatives, I have attachments, right? When they die, of course I'll be sad. I mean, you know, and, um, you know, I have a training to, to not, like, you know, lose everything over when people die. I understand, you know, this stuff that's part of this meditation practice and, and, and living the monastic life. Um, but still, it's an attachment. And when you have loss of an attachment, you suffer, right? The, the definition, uh, one of the definitions of dukkha is separation from beloved. Right? Being separated from what you like. When, uh, um, in the five, th the five things to contemplate always, the five things are, um, you know, I'm subject to, to old age, I'm subject to illness, I'm subject to death, I will be separated from everything I hold dear. That's something that you practice and that you understand. And so, <clears throat> even as a layperson, you can know that you have these attachments. You don't have to be self-deprecating self about it. You don't have to hate yourself because you have attachments. But you can work gradually <clears throat> to being okay with these attachments and letting it go to the point where you know you have this attachment to this person, but you don't need to be overly attached to this person. And I'm just like, um, what I always saw when I was around couples and stuff like that, when I was married and, you know, dating all this stuff, you see the people who are like, literally like attached to each other, like they are at a party or something and they can't, you know, they can't separate at all. And then you have the couples that like one's over there, one's over there. Everybody's talking. They're they're, they're okay. They can be separated. Right? That's a, a good analogy of of this. You know, there's clinging and grasping and attaching, and there's okay. I have this attachment, but I don't have to have it rule me. You know, I don't have to. I can live my life. Understand, I have family and loved ones and and stuff like that, and I can continue my practice. And I can understand more deeply until the time comes where your practice um, leads to you to wanting to become a monk, and then you renounce and <laughs> put on robes. Otherwise, it's okay. You know, don't never feel bad because you have attachments. You're going to have attachments. Monks have attachments. Monks have attachments to robes. Monks have attachments to food. Monks have attachments to everything, just like lay people do. So, but are we? want to take the next step to lessen those attachments. That's the only difference. So, don't down yourself for having attachments. It's okay. But you understand that when 
whatever you hold dear, when you are separated from that, you'll suffer for it. That's part of, that's a, like Bhante likes to say, buy one, get one free. You buy one, you get one free. You can't escape that. It's like you, you just want to leave the store with the one thing, but the attendant's like, no, this is yours, you have to take it. 